Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the third episode with our Gargoyle of the Shining One in the Crawl Tournament. Yeah, in the last episode we got our first two runes. Wait, here they are. The Barnacled rune and the Gossamer rune from Spider and uh, Shawls. And also we got into the treasure trove where the loot sadly was a bit disappointing. Uh, what do we have? We have got this contaminating ring for MR that could be useful for later. We've also got another another uh, uh, resist fire ring. Depending on how we do our setup later, maybe we use that. Uh, but uh, if we can get the whole MR from one item, it's better, of course. So, well, okay, we need to drop something. We have some unidentified stuff here. Oh, the gloves. I forgot that. Plus two gloves of dexterity. That's better. We had the archery gloves at the moment. 38.16 if we use the dexterity gloves. We have got 38.17. Gives us an additional point of evasion value. Also, I want to identify the plus two crystal plate. At the moment we're wearing a plus four plate armor. Let's, two, let's, let's take the crystal plate. 38.17. Now we've got 42.14. So four points of armor class reduce three points of evasion. That's worth. That's absolutely worth. Let's also identify the ring now that we're just doing it. Poison resistant. Bye bye. Yeah. Hmm. Do we have anything for cold resistance at the moment? Yeah. Uh, I'll still keep the ring. Who knows? Who knows if we find another. <sighs> so sad. So sad. There were a couple of very good things in there, but all had one negative thing that I cannot accept. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. First aim for this episode, let's go to the vault. And in the vault, I think it is worth that we use our MR ring and we use it instead of. Instead of. Yes. Um, did I put it on now? Yeah, uh, but I do not want to keep the evasion ring. I think let's rather get rid of that and use the ring strength RF or do we? Yeah, we do not have RF at the moment. That's a no go. Let's take that strength plus eight. Yeah, we need that. We absolutely need that so we don't get a uh, penalty from the armor. So check again. We've got all the resistances. Yeah, it looks pretty strong altogether. Let's go. And <laughs> as soon as we hit an enemy, our armor class goes up to a 49. Uh, we do not want to finish the vaults completely now. We just want to do the first four levels for the experience and the loot in order to prepare for the next thing that we do afterwards, which will be most likely the depths. Yeah, orcs are no problem for us, of course. They absolutely cannot hurt us anymore. Oh, we got marked. That's always interesting because that means we We'll see a lot of enemies here soon. Not marked anymore. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe we already cleared the biggest part of the level. Yeah, the marking is the main reason why I want MR while we're in here. Because um, MR helps that we don't get marked so often. Check that out. Amulet of Reflection. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this location I rather wear the amulet of reflection. So all these missile guys pretty much hit themselves when they when they attack us. Twelve point eight in shields. 
the moment we have got a plus one hat, it's very likely that maybe one of these hats is better. That's a plus one hat. And that's a plus one hat. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Maybe it's not better. But we've got two more rooms to check. This is a plus one hat. And this is plus zero slaying minus four. Bye bye. One more artifact I had to try out. Plus one flight our Alex strength minus five. Crap. Okay, we stay with our old head. That was a bit bad, bad luck. That was, that was not a single good head in this vault. In this uh, vault, usually you get something out of that. It's just like the treasure trove, there are some generally good artifacts, but they've got one big downside that uh, makes them unusable for us. Anyways, I think that our performance here looks pretty good at the moment. I feel pretty much afraid of nothing. Still, keep in mind, we just got one point of resistance for most of the... Uh, for, for the elemental attacks, and... We just got 133 HP. That's maybe the biggest drawback of the, of the gargoyle. The HP is just pretty, pretty, pretty low. Oh, that hurt. Okay, okay, got us in a bad situation here. Mm, we don't have blink, let's cast fear. Does anybody fear away? Not really. Let's quaff resistance. Go back into the corner. And berserk, maybe. No, teleport. Where's our teleportation? Don't we have teleport? Oh fuck, I forgot to pick up our teleportation after we left the treasure trove. I'm an idiot. We have to berserk out of here now. Now we could blink. That's what we do. So, summon our battle brother. Now kill them. Ah, fuck. Bad position. So, that's good. That's how we wanted. We are at 39 HP. I don't think he can one shot us. We are currently at 2 points of. Oh, we have 38. Yeah, that was a bit dangerous because I forgot to pick up the teleportation scrolls. Oops. Yep, on D13. Let's go back there and pick them up. Ah, I completely, completely forgot that. That was, oh my god. What a bad mistake. What a bad mistake. <laughs> Whew. Pretty glad that we got out of there. That would have been super annoying if we left because of that. If we lost because of that. Shield of protection? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And maybe the shield of protection is a bit better than what we have at the moment. Yeah, let's buy that. And use, let's drop our shield plus two and take the shield of protection instead. We need to drop some stuff. We are over, overburdened pretty much. Drop this, drop that. I don't think we use the ordinary protection from cold, and we can also drop both of these wands. I think so, it should be okay. We can also drop the amnesia scrolls. So I'm very sure we're not going to use them. And we've got another scroll of acquirement, by the way. Armor. Oh, artifact head. Resist fire, resist cold helmet. Nice. Okay, now I'm not angry anymore that we didn't get a good head. Resist fire and resist cold from our head, head uh, gear is super amazing.
and even one point of uh, protection value. Now I'm feeling a lot safer. Two points. Yeah, people say that the second and third point are not so important. It's 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 clear that the first point of resistance is the most important one, but uh, I think that two makes a big difference from one. Okay, that little yellow guy is summoning all the enemies around here. Can we somehow reach him? Ouch! Now we can one shot us. That's too dangerous. We have to blink. Giant slimes. Fuck. I hope that they would split up rather than uh, just attacking, keeping attacking us. Death Knight, I equip Divine Shield. Make sure he cannot kill us. Ah, let's just go upside and regenerate. Why do the hero play when there's no need to do it? Uh, but again, I played that really badly. I should not have got. not have stayed next to the slime. Well, we got out of it, but we had to waste another blink scroll, and we only have got two blinks left now. That could backfire in the long term if you waste your resources like that. We are marked again, oh, but I stay in this corridor. We can those uh, one or two square corridors are really handy for such situations because, uh, oh, we are on fire. Need help. I'm not really happy with the damage that we do. It's need a scroll of brand weapon at one point to get a bit more damage out of our. Evening star. At the moment, it's, it's generally pretty okay, the damage, but it's not overwhelming. And you really need to eat them enemies for breakfast. And that doesn't work with the weapon of protection. Sentinel's marked again. Anyways, we're done with Vault 2. I'm not happy with the Vault 2 performance. We lost two blink scrolls, that's too much. For Vault 2. Let's hope that we will do better on Vault 3. Uh, flail. Hmm. I'll check it out just in case it's an electrocution or something like that. It is plus 7 vamp flail. We are not allowed to use the vamp weapon, so bye bye. Star protection? Nope. You see how they kill themselves? That's the the effect of the reflecting art uh, amulet. That's exactly what I hoped would happen. That's pretty fine. Oh, we were paralyzed for a turn. Doesn't matter if you've got 53 armor class. Maybe that's brand weapon? No, it's torment. Luckily, we are resistant to torment, so the damage is not that high. How many scrolls are still missing? Wait a second, I want to check that out. Um, Brand Weapon and Summoning are the only scrolls that we didn't find yet. 
So if you find uh, another unknown scroll, there's a 50% chance that it's brand weapon. For those who wonder how that works, I just press the, um, the backslash to get into the menu with the uh, items that I already know, and then minus to get the items that you do or, uh, that that you do not know yet. So this is everything that we haven't found yet. The wand of digging, the only useful wand. We didn't find that either so far. We definitely want a wand of digging at one point. But, well, we will find one. It's just a matter of time. I focus the the elven casters whenever I can. They are the damage dealers and the summoners. So got got them. By the way, are we already? Oh yeah, 15.5. Okay, then we have to get it to 16. Because uh, that's just the way I do it. Fifteen point seven. Again, we are marked. But I think that also again, we have already cleared the biggest part of the level. Okay, maybe not. That's the best position to fight. We've got a bottleneck. Confused. Fifty point nine. Almost there. Maybe this fight will give us sixteen. Annihilate us down. Confused again. Let's do the fifty point nine. The the archer killed himself. And we're going to down down to Vault Four. This is the last level that we're gonna Gonna visit now. Coming back for the rest later. 16. Good. That's what we wanted. Now let's. Hmm. Uh, I think I want armor and um, and dodging up to 15 maybe. And afterwards, I will just put everything into fighting until we have have it maxed. So we get a couple more hit points. Okay. But shields 15 is already pretty cool. We've got a shield value of 19 together with the amulet. That allows us to block a lot of attacks. He's got a distortion weapon, which really sucks. I don't want to go to the abyss. Kill him quickly. Good. Probably we could do abyss at this point, but... Uh, why should we if we can also do it later when it's easier? Don't need a dexterity ring. Yeah, I'm keeping these enchant armor scrolls because I I would prefer to swap to a gold dragon armor at one point. It's almost guaranteed that you get one. And uh That's what I want. Marked again. 
like on every level. Yeah, we've we've just got two points in resist magic. That's just not too much. So we have to live with that getting marked from time to time. Armor is up to 12. Yeah, when I've got my gold dragon armor enchanted later, we will get uh, easy. We will easily get to uh, armor values of uh, 70 or so, really, really high values with the gargoyle. Because see, we already have got a bonus of plus 15 to our armor class just from our skin. It's a bonus to whatever armor we are wearing apart from that. Okay, this guy does some damage with his tentacles. We need one more point in strength after this one. Okay, why did we get so low? I activate our our divine shield. I don't think we need to do anything apart from that. Completely regenerated, excellent. So, and we're done here. Next aim, depths. Here we are, down in depths. 13 in armor, by the way. 15 will be enough. 15 is what I want to reach for now. Because I want a standard armor, armor class of, of 50 without our protection bonus. Let's identify this potion though. That's a potion of invisibility. We can drop that because our god makes it. That's one of the weaknesses of um, the shining one. As long as, as you've got this holy aura, you cannot get invisible. Especially in the early game, that's really quite a disadvantage when invisibility is a pretty strong means to, to handle different situations. Party tricks. Anything we need from here? I learn summon butterflies, but that's everything we need. Summon butterflies is a good distraction spell if you need to run away. You need to just summon a whole lot of butterflies between you and the enemy. So chances are pretty high that the enemy focuses the butterflies rather than you. Oh, oh, oh that might be the brand weapon. It is, it is, it is, and we get crushing, nice. Plus seven evening star of crushing. That's the weapon we needed, and now we do a lot more damage. Boom, 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 boom. A crushing is not the highest uh, of damages in general, but it has a big advantage, which is it cannot be resisted. There is no crushing resistance. No enemy has crushing resistance. See, now they die really quickly. We don't really reach the guys that we want to kill, though. Stupid little summoner in the back. Here he is. Oh, fuck. We learn to re respect the, the big fat slimes. And we got him. Nice. Of protection from fire, we don't need this. Yeah, the crushing 
Evening Star is, uh, in my eyes, an endgame worthy weapon. And we've already enchanted it up to plus 8 now. There are very, very few enemies in the game that can stand the attacks of a plus 8 Evening Star of Crushing. First depth level, easily done. A rune shield, I want to try that out. And it's a shield of reflection, nice! That's very nice, that means we can swap back to our amulet of regeneration. And we still got the power of reflection from from the shield. Treat a couple of steps here. This guy does damage. But the good thing is that we regenerate when we kill demons. That really helps a lot, especially in the late game when there are quite a lot of demon or demonesque enemies around. Get in here later. Oh, almost missed the lich. Go in here, kill them all. Yeah, and depths is also the first location where we have a realistic chance to get the the gold dragon armor. Sometimes you get a lucky gold dragon armor early in the game, but depths is uh, where you can pretty much count on it. I think it's maybe 50-50 chance to get one. Okay, I got to, uh, in here too deep. Take a bit care. Mm, need some support. It's gonna smite some stuff that. Fuck. Something smites you. Which is this something? I will I will cast heal wounds just to make sure nothing bad happens. We're paralyzed. Not so good. What's going on here? Hmm. Heal wounds. Twice. What does our battle brother guy do? Pretty much retreats, I think. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bit too much damage if we take from my taste. Okay, now he is dead. That's good. I always try to play very carefully and slowly when we get so to 50% HP or something like that. Because I don't want to die. Okay, they cannot follow me here. I really hope that we get the... Oh, that's Artifact Gauntlets plus one R Alec. Nope, thanks. Artifact Ring. Resist Fire Slaying plus two. Not bad, not bad. What rings are we wearing at the moment? Ah, the Resist Magic is pretty important. <sighs> The strength plus eight. Now we still need that. We don't have enough strength for our armor without that. Hmm. 
another shield that we might want to check out. Shield of protection. Nope, thanks. We stay with the shield of reflection. Got another ring of evasion here. Let's maybe try that out quickly. Plus one. Wow. And we've got another scroll of requirement. Let me take one more look at our equipment. We have got a very good helmet. But apart from that helmet, our armor is still the weak point in our equipment. So we keep wishing for armor. This time we get an artifact cloak, which gives us a uh, dex plus 4. Crap. By far not as useful as uh, the scarf. We are currently wearing. Okay, these guys are berserking. Let's kill them. Good, he's down. I try to stay out of the line of sight. Of Anybody who wants to attack us from a distance, and that worked. Fine. There is another scarf that we might identify. Cloud immunity? No, I don't think we need that. As long as we stay at... Oh, mana capacity. Couldn't care less. As long as we stay uh, at good resistances, we don't need cloud immunity. Now the sad thing is that so far we didn't meet a gold dragon in here. I really hope for a gold dragon. There are fire dragons, there are bone dragons, but no gold dragons so far. Seems like we're not lucky on this level at least. Oh, social bomb. This guy must be taken seriously. Ah, too dangerous. I get out. Oh my god, those sheep almost give me a shiver. <laughs> if they oh, we've got two buddies at the moment, but the first is already too sad. I'm pretty sure we can kill Sojable, but we need to fight un under our conditions, not under his. Gold Dragon! Drop me an armor, drop. Oh, so sad. So sad. That was the dragon that I wanted to meet, and sadly, sadly, <laughs> didn't drop the armor. There is a Tengu, and Sojabo is right next to him. Need another. Oh, oh, we've got two buddies now. A Deva, even. That should easily be enough to kill him. Wow. That's damage. Good, he's down. Tiny buckler, we don't need a buckler. Did he drop anything cool? Nope, he didn't. <coughs> okay, we're done with uh, depths 2. <coughs> Pretty tough level, but we made it. Let's see how devs 
3 will work. 17 armor. Oh god, I overtrained a bit here. I want to get a couple of points in dodging now. My fighting is already almost at maximum. Maybe I'll, I'll quickly push fighting up to the maximum just so we got it. HP is just the <laughs> most important stat in the, in the game. If you got HP, you didn't need anything else. And if you don't have HP, then you're dead and the game is over. Oh, but generally I'm happy with our character. We had one or two pretty tough situations, but we got out without the biggest trouble, I think. Hope so at least. Oh fuck. Boris. Need help. Kill this guy. Can you kill Boris for me? Then I do it myself. I'll be back, that's what he says, and I believe this guy. He's not just talk. Kill the lich, nice. The village. I went in here so we can directly kill him and hopefully destroy all the summons that way. Yeah, the demons are gone. And now I don't want to stand in there. Good. Gold, holy bird, gold. Just down, excellent. Oh my god. An entropy weaver, but that's a shapeshifter. I hope that he will quickly. Ah, nice. Good. Luckily, he didn't corrode us while he was an entropy weaver. Silence, ambrosia. Don't need a wand of flame. Good. The entropy weavers are among these enemies where I'm always afraid. No matter at which phase of the game, they can ruin your character in no time. If you don't get them down quickly, you die. A nice thing is that we're not really in danger of getting uh, uh, drained because we have got maximum reg uh, negative resistance. Check out this shield. This is a plus two shield of reflection. Small improvement. Looks nice, looks nice. Down to depths three. Depths is a five level part of the dungeon. So we're already below half time now. Do a bit of stair dancing because I was afraid. If we got paralyzed too long between all the enemies, it could get dangerous. <laughs> that was suicide. Gold dragon, gold dragon, gold dragon, gold dragon. Oh, and again, no armor. So sad. Ah, oh, God. The hunt for the gold dragon armor. Uh, once I played a game where I. Uh, didn't get a gold dragon armor until Zod 5, and I finally gave up on the plan and uh, pushed all my scrolls of enchant armor into my plate armor. And uh, after the next corner, I met a gold dragon and got the armor and just said, <laughs> Fuck you. You have to kill that. Uh, 
orb of ice first, because it would paralyze us or do other mean things to us. By the way, how many mutation potions do we have? We have got eight mutation potions right now. The point is, you cannot uh, clear mutations anymore. Um, the only mutation potion in the game is now the potion of mutation, and it uh, randomly shuffles around your set of mutations. That's where I want to go. So, um, if you've got enough of these potions, you definitely will get a good set of mutations. At one point you can just play the roulette. I don't want to overdo it because um, if we get mutated later by the by the orbs of fire then uh, I want the chance to uh, get rid of the bad mutations and get us some good ones. I know there are also people who on the first level start doing the rotation roulette and hope that they get a nice boost that helps them get through the through the early stages of the game. So, we should almost be done with this level. Oh, wow. We're rich. Treasure. Woohoo. And we can enchant our weapon to the maximum. Now we've got a plus nine evening star of crushing, which is pretty solid in my eyes. Still, I would love to get another evening star because uh, a holy evening star for the late game would be amazing too. Oops, that's well these mana viper lightning spire. Oh, wow, <laughs> those are nice spells. I'd like to have both of them, maybe just in case we go for 15 runes. Identify this ring, evasion and strength. No, we don't need evasion and strength on a ring. At least not 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 only that. That's ring of wizardry. Also, I want to know how good the enchantment of this whip is. Plus two demon whip of fire. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too good. And we go down to depths 5. This is the final level of the depths. Well, we are almost at maximum HP, maximum uh, fighting. Start encountering the first draconians here. Draconians are among the widest spread enemies in the levels of Zot. I hope we will see that in uh, in this game. So maybe some nice rings here. Blink resist cold. That's interesting because of the blink. That's the only really interesting one here. Want of digging? Nope. Mm, nope. Blink versus cold is maybe the best. Um. Yep, I'd buy that. Just so we have got a 
more to play around with. I also, because I'm, I like wasting money, I also buy the Amulet of Reflection plus 5 and uh, drop our Amulet of Reflection plus 3. Two gold dragons, two gold dragons, two gold dragons. Double chance to get a gold dragon armor. And there it is. That's our gold dragon armor. Excellent. And we've got strength to the value that we wanted to reach. Now we better not. Oh, fuck. Blink. Holy moly. Blink again. That's our last blink. Teleportation. Run. And not teleport into the middle of them. Good. Fuck. A whole band of these shrieks of complete destruction. We are out of blink now. Hmm. Cannot change it. And we didn't even manage to pick up the gold dragon armor. We have to fight them one by one. And we have to take really good care now. We cannot blink away. Which is partly because uh, earlier in this episode, I and in the last one, I wasted two of our blink scrolls because of careless playing. It's the entrance of Zot. But these cosmic shrieks, they are so bad. Maximum, that's good. Next, dodging. So let's see if we can... Uh, there are other shrieks. Oh, and they start to corrode us. Fuck, that's a lot of them. We need more support. Minus 8, teleportation. Minus 12, run, 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 run. <sighs> I hate you. Cosmic shrieks. I hope they cannot open doors. They cannot. Good. Please kill this guy for me. Maybe not. A Deva is stronger, and with two guys, we can kill him. So, first cosmic tree is down. Good. Where's the rest of them? Our Deva is gone. That's a bit sad. I uh, hoped that he would stay a bit longer. Oh, Gold Dragon. Not so bad. We already have a Gold Dragon armor. If we can get there alive. That's the point. If we can. I play that really slowly because when the Cosmic Freaks come around the corner, pick up the Gold Dragon armor, run away. So, here, yeah. where the gold dragon armor? 51, 12 at the moment. If we wear this, we've got 46, 12. So the armor class is a bit worse, but we will change that by buffing this up with all our 6 scrolls of enchant armor. So, 52, 12, that's what we have now, and we've got maximum resistance in fire and cold. That's the main reason why I love this armor so much. Fire and cold to the maximum. Still, there are those cosmic shrieks somewhere on this level. That's why I cannot relax at all. Entrance still closed. Who 
food. Don't need. Where are the cosmic shrieks? And apparently they just flew away. Here's one. Got a Deva. Kill him. Now we kill ah, got got him. But still the other two, there they are. We fight them two v one. And the problem is really they can uh with their corrosive acid, they can corrode you into nothingness in no time. So but I think it was just four of them and we got them. And that was a really really hard depth five. But we got through it and we are stronger than ever. So dudes, we are done with Depths 5 and this is a perfect moment to call this episode to a close. So, thanks for... <laughs> thanks for watching guys and hope to see you all again in the next episode. Until then, bye everybody.